Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, nice. Fragrance is to store in the fridge. Fantastic. Let's start off with Versace Pour Alm. Welcome to my fridge. Welcome to my kitchen. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? <laughs> so, about Versace Pour Alm, let me tell you a quick story. Oh man, I love this fragrance. It's absolutely amazing. You gotta be a mad lad to not love this fragrance. Ah, but let me tell you a quick story. The first time I have smelled Versace Pour Alm, I thought, man, that's such a boring fragrance. It's like a rolly, it's, it's like bergamot. Okay, like that's so boring and generic. It has this ozonic feel, which is uh, amazing. It makes, it makes an amazing summer fragrance, also spring fragrance, and of course, a fragrance to store in the fridge. Uh, the thing is, why I dislike this one is simply because I, when I first did, uh, when I first when I smelled it for the very first time, it was winter. So I went to the perfumery in winter and I smelled it, and then I was like, man, that's so boring, it's so generic, the Neroli, the bergamot, blah 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 blah. Okay, boring. I didn't like it. But now, actually, last summer when I went to the perfumery store again and I smelled it, it was in high heat. It was, it was like 35 degrees Celsius. Man, it was blazing hot. And I smelled this again in this high heat summer temperature. And I fell in love. I fell in love. It's a high heat fragrance. It's amazing. You can also wear it in the spring. You can also you can wear it in the summer. You can also store it in the fridge to make it even more uh, well refreshing. The neroli, the bergamot, and it has this type of an ozonic feel. This this kind of transparent. It's so transparent, ozonic. It's re simply refreshing. That's why I love this fragrance, and it performs the very best in high heat. So that's the first one on this list. Lacoste Lame Intense is a fantastic, very unique fragrance, few people know, and it's perfect for the daytime, especially in a slightly more warm weather like in the spring. What's so amazing about it is the rhubarb note. It's very rarely used actually in other fragrances that makes it so incredibly unique. Together with the rhubarb, there's also tangerine in the opening. It makes it fruity, sparkly and just very interesting and springy to me personally. Uh, in the base you'll find some woods, some little bit of vetiver, it's just a tiny hint of vetiver. Personally I'm not a big fan of vetiver so fragrances like Teva MS, that's not my spiel. So um, uh, still this, this small amount of vetiver, I can handle it. <laughs> Even though I'm not a fan of it, it's, it's just a tiny hint of vetiver. It's okay, I can handle it, I would say. Um, so yeah, it's very unique. Uh, people will notice you. The only downside is it doesn't last as long. It's more on the three hour mark. So that's, that might be something you, you wanna consider before buying. All right, next up is standing right here, baby. <laughs> That is Club de Nuit, Club de Nuit Silage. I got it like three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and it is incredibly amazing. I mean, this is better than the actual Silver Mountain Water. There's, by today's standards, by this standard of silage, there is simply no reason whatsoever actually to buy Creed's Silver Mountain Water. It's incredibly overpriced, even though, even though you, would, you might say, well, I still want to have the prestige, okay, I get it, but for most people, honestly, this one is like 30 bucks, Creed's Silver Mountain Water is like 250 bucks, so the thing is, this is probably the better version of Silver Mountain Water. 
than the actual Silver Mountain water. There is this inkiness, just in case you don't know Silver Mountain water or you don't know Silage uh, by our mouth. Um, the name actually by Creed, Silver Mountain water, fits very very well because it's such a refreshing fragrance. Let me just let me just um, remember my, myself of the smell. So it's very inky. It smells like you would imagine ink smells. Together with this ozonic, refreshing. Uh, it's totally amazing. It's, it's a summer fragrance, it's a spring fragrance, it's an all year round fragrance actually. And the biggest thing, the biggest upside is, well, that is better than Creed. So the main components are bergamot, neroli and musk. But specifically in silage, I think the musk is a bit more amped up. I don't own a bottle of Creed, of Silver Mountain Water, but I know how it smells like. I've tested it multiple times. And I would say the musk is a bit amped up in here. Also the bergamot is also amped up in here. And it has this amazing refreshing feeling of when you are actually standing on the top of a mountain in the Himalayas and you feel the cold, the icy cold breeze of snow and ice on your face. It's hitting you. It's minus 20 degrees. And that's why this fragrance works so well in warm weather. Because it smells cold. It literally smells cold. Wow. Wow. And this inkiness, it has a certain type of depth. It, it gives the fragrance depth and longevity. It's absolutely amazing. That's Club de Nuit Silage. If you like Davidoff's Cool Water, you probably think, well, that's not necessarily something I would like to wear because it smells outdated. This is what would happen. Show them what it's all about. You chuck it away. You don't need it. And generally, I would 100% agree with you. To me personally, that's more of a gentleman scent. Okay, like when you're in your 50s or 40s, that's a scent for you that fits your age, actually. Um, I'm very glad that Davidoff brought us an amazing fragrance and it's cool water and Thames takes the original DNA and makes it just sweeter which is great because it's more fitting for younger people the sweetness makes it more wearable it just makes it more wearable for younger people and therefore this is landing on my list it's still a fresh fragrance even though it has significantly more sweetness than the original one so to me, that is an aquatic, sweet, fresh fragrance. Similar, like it's in the same vein of um, Invictus, Invictus Aqua. It's not similar, like I'm not saying this is a clone or anything. I'm more saying this is a similar vein of fragrances. Aquatic and sweet. Yeah, David of Cool Water, I'm glad they brought this out. It's a fantastic fragrance, love it. Next up, Vodiga Noyage Heritage. A lot of people are speaking about Nautica Voyage, the original one, which is great. It's known for the cucumber note, for the salty marine notes, and it's ozonic feel, which is amazing. The, the fragrance is actually incredible. The price value proposition is tremendous. But I wanna talk about, and I have a small decant right here, I want to talk about Nautica Voyage Heritage. It has peppermint, it has lavender, and what I like specifically about it, it has amber. So it's not a it's it's not one of those completely oh, 
hot weather humid fragrances this one actually can also wear even though it is very fresh it is very fresh no doubt because of the amber in here it actually has a certain warmth to it which uh, which is a big plus in my book <laughs> because simply you don't have to wait for super super high heat weather like with Nautical Voyage it's more appropriate on the super high heat weather level and this one you can also wear in spring in of course also in summer I would even wear it in fall yeah it's incredible the, it, the amber I really noticed the amber in here the lavender the bergamot the peppermint the sandalwood wow it, it's lovely it's absolutely lovely and the price value proposition also here is incredibly amazing I love it I think I'm gonna buy it uh, yeah the decant I, I, I got this decant actually for free um, so <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy the fragrance. I'm, I'm amazed and the price is also great, so why not, right? It's gonna be great for spring and summer. <sighs> Fantastic, <laughs> love it. <laughs> Next up, Roja Elysium. This one is so expensive, I just got a small decant to test it out for the first time. I'm amazed how good this smells. To me, I, I, I can smell a lot of similarities to Creed Aventus and to me, personally, it's even better than Creed Aventus. I never was a big Aventus fan before, to be honest. To me it was that musky, bergamotty, smoky fragrance. I have never noticed any pineapple in Aventus, that's why I'm just not a fan of it. It was, to me personally, it was a boring fragrance. But with Roja's Elysium, which is more fruity, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's amazing. I love it. Roja's Elysium, and I'm talking not about the Parfum version, but about the Parfum Cologne version. It's the cheaper one. Still incredible, ex incredibly expensive. It's uh, over 300 bucks. Sometimes, sometimes I see them like for 700. <laughs> what the? 700 come on um, anyway that's the I guess this decant I have right here ah, <laughs> it's a it's a parfum cologne version so my point is to me personally this is Aventus on steroids with a bunch of fruit okay so this is like a fruit cocktail to me Especially the grapefruit is pronounced 10x to me personally, to my nose. To me, to me that is actually Aventus with a bunch of fruits. If you are someone like me who, who is not so much into the smokiness of Aventus, you will be very satisfied with the Roja Elysium because it's so fruity. Okay, and it still has the bergamot, it still has the musk. Uh, at least that's what I'm getting. The so similarities between Aventus and uh, Elysium are uh, blindingly obvious to me. <laughs> so let me know what the, in the comments. Have you smelled Elysium before? Have you smelled Aventus? How do you compare them? Because to me, I've also asked a friend who owns Aventus if he does notice any similarities. And he also told me that uh, they're very, very similar. So. That might be an amazing opportunity for anybody who likes Aventus but can't stand the smokiness of it, the, the birch. So uh, that's the case for me. <laughs> Alright guys, next one. Wow, the sun is shining! <laughs> guys, next up is... Which one is gonna be the next one? Mm, man, I got two fragrances here, standing right here. Ah, I haven't decided yet. Ah, I think it's gonna be Molecule 01. Also a decant from a friend. Molecule 01, ah, it's such an interesting concept. Simply because it has only one ingredient, right? Um, so yeah, that's the decant right here. Oh. 
Come on, focus. Focus on it, buddy. So it only has one ingredient. It's ISO E Super, which is a chemical. It's like supposed to be similar to Ambroxan, something like that. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Uh, all I can say, it has a woody smell. I can smell it from, from the atomizer. Uh, when I was visiting a shop, actually, a perfumery, like a couple of months ago, uh, the saleswoman told me, oh, uh, you can't smell it like on the paper, uh, but you will smell it on the skin. I thought, well, that's, that's interesting, but uh, since I got a decant, I actually do can smell it. From the atomizer, it smells woody, and also on skin, it simply smells woody, but still fresh. It has a certain type of freshness to it, uh, it's still bright, it's not a dark fragrance, not at all. It's a fresh woody. Yeah, it's a fresh woody without having actual wood aromas in it. So yeah, I think uh, I just wanted to place this uh, fragrance in this list because the concept is so interesting and it also smells great. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> There's not that much I can say to it, I think. It's a, it's a uh, fresh woody fragrance, which uh, a lot of people are layering it, actually. So, when you have a woody fragrance, an actual woody fragrance, like sandalwood or something like that, which um, doesn't have as much longevity, you can spray Molecule 01 first and then layer it on top with the other fragrance, uh, like a sandalwood fragrance, for example and it's supposed to be uh, longer lasting. So I've tried it, not with, a, not with a woody fragrance, but with a fruity fragrance. It's actually gonna be the, the next one I'm gonna feature. <laughs> um, but that didn't work, so apparently that's just what I've heard a few days ago. You gotta, if you're going to layer it, you gotta layer it with a, with a woody fragrance. So it works. Okay, Molecule 01. Next up, uh, I have featured it in my, I think that, that was the last video, yeah, I think so, Vetiver Pampamoose by Zara. It's such a lovely fragrance, it is incredible. Guys, Vetiver Pampamoose, it is the epitome of orange grapefruit. A hint of sweetness together with with a vetiver base. <sighs> Guys, it's like you're throwing oranges and grapefruit into vetiver grass. And that's how it smells like. It's just those three things. Vetiver oranges. Maybe there's like a hint of lemon in it. And and uh and vetiver of course. Wow. There is a different fragrance from Atelier, Atelier Cologne. <laughs> Atelier Cologne. Oh, sorry. Uh, Atelier Cologne. <laughs> um, it's called Sangui, Orange Sangui, something like that. I actually bought a decant. I'm definitely gonna do a comparison review. Um, I've compared them already, and the winner is clear to me. You're gonna see. But for now, this one is on my list. I just love it, man. It's so fresh. It's such a happy fragrance. It makes me smile when I'm smelling it. Wow. Wow. Check it out. Check it out. Just spread it on a paper. <laughs> Right. That is incredible! Incredible! I love it. Oh man, that's such an amazing fragrance. I can smell it all day long. All day long, baby. All day long. <sighs> all day long. 
Wow. I gotta buy like five backup bottles of this before this is going to be discontinued. If you have some experience with Zara fragrances, you will probably know they are discontinuing their fragrances fairly quickly. So um, I've also seen there's the black bottle of it. This is the white one, the original one. Uh, but there seems to be a black bottle and the white bottle is gone. They are both Eau de Parfum concentration. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Apparently you can get the white one anymore, but you can get the black label. I don't know what's the point of it, if they've changed the formula or not. I'll definitely let you know, because I'll definitely buy the black bottle. If they've changed the formula, it's hopefully just a tiny bit, because I love this fragrance. Hopefully they didn't change the formula at all. <laughs> all right, next up. It's a fragrance I don't have right here. It's so common. Everybody knows it. Everybody likes it. Except people, those people who don't like it, they don't like it specifically because it's so popular. It's Sauvage. It's just Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Well, you probably know it. The Ambroxan Beast. The Bergamot Beast. The Pepper Beast. What I like about it. What I love about it. Even though I don't have it right here. It's just... It's such a crowd pleaser. Everybody loves it. I love it, your mom loves it, <laughs> your dog loves it, everybody loves it. Don't let your dog smell fragrances. <laughs> the thing is, in comparison, specifically Sauvage Eau de Toilette, it has to be the Eau de Toilette. Forget the Parfum and the Eau de Parfum, they are too heavy. It, it, those are not spring and summer fragrances. You need the auto toilet, and the great thing is actually it's the cheapest one, so that's a big plus too. The thing is, by today's standards, you get a lot of fragrances which feature Ambroxan. It's such a popular note, and um, it's still the distinct difference between Sauvage and other fragrances which feature a huge amount of Ambroxan. To me, it's not even about the Ambroxan, it's about the pepper. The pepper, which is, I think it's a, I think it's a top note, the pepper, it gives it a certain type of the zinginess, a certain type of, of a feeling in the nose, uh, a, a, a ticklish feeling in your nose without wanting to sneeze the pepper is the, the pepper is a cherry on top totally totally it's a cherry on top the ambroxan as, as an ambroxan fragrance it is it is a masterpiece and it's going to become an iconic fragrance just like aqua di jo and um david of cool water or the toilette um, it's gonna be iconic and specifically I think the pepper note is uh, the icing it's the cherry on top which is absolutely amazing and the combination of ambroxan and pepper that's what I love absolutely all right guys that's all for today thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up yeah, there's nothing more to say. Uh, see you in the next video, like always. Alright, bye bye. Thank you very much.